Hi everyone, this is Yunus Emin Aljolu and welcome to Somehow I Design. Today we will be focusing on series sculpting and in addition to that we will be covering our snapping options as well. Um, let's create some primitive objects to see what we can do with them. Firstly, cylinder. In order to put an object into the center of the origin, I'm going to use grid snapping, which is basically pressing and holding Alt key and then left mouse button closer to the grid intersection where I want to position my object. In this case, this is the center of the origin. So as you can see, this little greenish dot here positioned in the intersection of the our center grid. In order to stand this cylinder on top of the ground plane, I'm gonna move this pivot point, uh, known as point of interest as well, to the bottom center of the cylinder by using curve snap option, which we mentioned before in our previous videos. Uh, firstly, control shift and middle mouse button here on our marking menus, move pivot tool, here it is, and let it go. And control alt and left mouse button, holding and sliding through the curve. Perfect. Right now, I'm gonna use again, shift control, middle mouse button, move tool. And then grid snapping again, Alt and left mouse button here in the center. So our cylinder is positioned in the center of the grid, in our center of the origin. Let's play with the CVs a little bit to make the shape different. First, I'm gonna scale this cylinder horizontally by going by going scale tool and right mouse button. And I'm gonna open the CVs and I will play with the CVs with big CV tool here in our marking menu, pick these series, go to the perspective wheel and make sure you uh, you do center pivot tool here in order to put our pivot in the middle of the selected series. So let's scale them on the x-axis with my left mouse button. And pick this CV row and center pivot and scale these and pick these series as well, center the pivot and scale them. So, for example, let's rotate this series. First, I'm going to pick the old CV and center pivot and do rotate. And I'm going to put the numeric value here on the x axis 10 degree so it faces to us. I suggest you to create some kind of objects here, like cylinders, and shape them according to what you need. Always do some experimental stuff, stuff by yourself. So let's go on and create 
a cube alt and left click in this case this is some uh, this is different uh, in this case if I try to move pivot I don't have any curve here to uh, follow as reference so I make center pivot what I want to mention is there is a tool which creates some reference uh, curves on our objects according to uh, how we need how we need them and it is called patch precision tool under the object edit menu here this tool patch precision tool I hit this one my object is already selected and with my left mouse button holding and sliding I can create some reference curves on my object in our cases I only need this type of curve so I let it go and I do move pivot tool and control alt left click curve snap you see by now I can find the center of the bottom surface of our cube so move uh, move tool alt and left click so we put the uh, put the cube on our center as we did in our cylinder before so let's scale it on the z-axis open the CVs let's decrease the CVs in this situation and I don't know for instance let's twist this top surface of our cube by going rotate and 45 degrees no, I'm sorry on the z-axis 45 degrees let's take a look so we twisted our top view 45 degrees and this is the shape we got you see beautiful and still if you want to experiment experiment more let's put another CV row here in the middle except and go to our left view big CV center pivot so our pivot point in the center of this particular series and scale them let's make it chubby <laughs> and you see I can still play with this around I don't know like let's pick this series rows as well rotate again I don't know 15 degrees this time oops you see this error here it's because I haven't centered the pivot so rotate again 15 degrees perfect so we mentioned uh, curve snaps control alt and left click before and we also mentioned grips, grip snaps in this tutorial, alt and left click. And there is point snap, which is control and left click. Let's pick the CV and move it in that way. Wireframe mode. So we have a huge gap here and I want I need this CV to touch exactly on that CV in order to close this gap so I pick this CV and try to move try to get closer to this CV which is basically impossible so rather than struggling like this I basically hold down control and left click and done magic
pick the CV move and pick the surface CV move and pick these two move control left click boom and this is our point snap so guys thank you so much for watching until here I hope you learned some stuff and please comment your thoughts and like the video and subscribe the channel see you in the next episode